And again, if you're new here, uh, please come say hi. Uh, say hi to in chat. Uh, you know, keep me company for this long grind. I know it's just AI, but uh, I do have to do it. <laughs> so I hope you guys can keep me company. All right, so I only have one choice here, so that's not much choice to uh, to to be made. Um, so psychic uh, and fire do not have really have any interactions. They don't have any sort of uh, uh, weakness or resistance to one another. So uh, I feel safe in playing any card uh, in this uh, in this round. So we're just gonna go ahead and analyze our cards right now. Um, shuffle. We don't want to shuffle because we've got quite some energy cards to uh, do so first. Uh, but of course, at the same time, we are lacking in Pokemon. So if maybe in, in the next one or two turns we do not get any Pokemon, uh, I might be have uh, I might have to be forced to use this. Um, so we have an EXP share card. Uh, this is not useful for us right now because we don't have any spare Pokemon to do so. Um, so the only one is to do this, but uh, it's not really that much of an advantage, I think. Um, yeah, this one does more damage, uh, definitely, but it's kind of similar both ways. So I am just going to go ahead, uh, attach an energy, and that's all we can do. Alright, I've taken some damage, uh, the situation is quite dire, um, and I am lacking in Pokemon cards. Uh, he has enough energy to, to you know go off on his own, so I am forced to use this guy right now. Um, uh, wait a minute, um, what I can do is try to prolong my life, so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this guy over here. Uh, just because, uh, you know, if he adds on one more energy card, um, it has the po possibility of a one-hit KO for me. So I just want to be safe. And um, uh, before I... No, I've made a mistake. I've made a huge mistake here. Uh, and the reason for that is, of course, you can only play one supported card. Um, but of course, it's not that bad. Um, I've still prolong my life by switching it around but um, yeah, yeah we're just gonna go ahead and play that right now yes the situation is quite dire um, oof. quite luckily for us we have a backup Pokemon now we're gonna go ahead attach some energy to get that guy uh, and yeah attack Oh, the situation is really bad. Uh, um, again, because this card, uh, this deck is really weak. Uh, and just as a reminder, this deck we only have a couple of win conditions. Uh, one is RK9, which uh, some of you might have seen in the past uh, two sessions, uh, two rounds that we played. Um, we won using that one. Uh, and of course, the other one is Snorlax, uh, which we've won using just the previous round. Um, so because I do not have any of that, um, it's really bad. I have to choose which one right now. Um, Vulpix, the raw is pretty useful for us, um, where I, uh, I can force him to switch with one of his bench. Uh, but he does have this Golet, so it is quite a dangerous game to play as well. Um, so right now, 60 damage. 60 damage is enough to kill off my Growlithe in one strike. Um, it is so... I cannot take that risk and what I'm gonna do is just put my Vulpix out. Hope that a better Pokemon comes my way. Um, okay. Let's play this trainer card. Uh, we'll pick up this, the energy card first uh, and we'll do this. Yeah, this is wonderful. Um, because we do need cards right now. The cards is our priority. We do need some trainer cards in order to draw. So uh, we'll be able to play that next turn. Um, so in the meantime, I have a choice here. 
uh, I can either do no and to do 10 damage uh, so that will be 70 and then in the next turn I can do bite and I can kill him off um, or I can just do roar and make him switch um, of course the AI is not perfect the AI does um, <laughs> Uh, you know, does funny things sometimes, they do try to let you to win as much as possible, but um, I don't want to take that chance, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take the uh, guaranteed uh, knockout next turn. So he seems to have a lot of uh, Pokemon as backup, but he doesn't seem to have much energy, uh, so that's what we are going to hope with our strategy over here. Okay, so... I'm able to do this, I'm able to do this, and I'm able to do finally get some more cards in my hand. I'm hoping they'll be great. No, they are not. Um, so between Meowth and Eevee, Eevee you can see uh, the launch uh, theoretically does 30 damage, but if it tails this attack does nothing, zero damage. So the expected damage here is 15 for two um, energy cards. Uh, in my opinion, it's not very uh, worth it. So, for me, I am going to put, uh, I'm just going to put Eevee out, because I already have a Meowth in there. Um, and if nothing, I can just use him as a tank, uh, you know, just let him soak up some damage, uh, buy me some time. Uh, what we have here is a no weakness. Again, uh, as I mentioned previously, uh, Psychic and Fire have no interactions between them, so this card is useless for us. Um, do we need energy cards? Uh, right now we do not, so we'll leave this um, till a later date. Uh, and finally we have this one, uh, search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Um, and yeah, we're go gonna go ahead and do that because I know that we can have either a Flareon or a Persian. Yeah, and those will be definitely very useful for us uh, because we do have Eevee and Meowth, the unevolved forms. Uh, and right now, um, let's see what we can choose. Uh, Heat Breath is going to be 60 damage uh, for 3 cards, 3 energy cards. Uh, whereas Persian, we have Raid, which does 30 plus 30, uh, possibly. And Fury Swipes for 2, which is 30 times uh, 3 coins. So the way to calculate this is um, uh, 3 coins, uh, so the maximum damage is 90. Um, but because the coin flip is a half half, so we're just going to go ahead and divide that by, by 2. So the expected damage here for this Fury Swipes is 45. Uh, 45 damage uh, for 2 energy cards. I think personally I'm going to take this guy. So that's the rationale behind that. Um, and I've already played energy cards. I've already uh, put down my Pokemon. There's nothing left to do except go ahead and bite this guy to death. That's wonderful. Uh, so earlier we had this um, sort of um, we sacrificed our Vulpix for this sure uh, knockout strategy. Strategy. Um, again, if you're new here, I uh, just want to say welcome to my channel. This is Uzi Crypt, and come say hi. Come say hi. Uh, please type in the chat. You know, um, if there are any issues, let me know. Uh, you know, too loud, too soft, uh, anything you like. Uh, to see and just let me know so let's go ahead and analyze this guy this 70 HP um, he has a passive ability um, ooh. Ah, that's only one time uh, when it's when he evolves so I don't have to worry about this anymore uh, and he has a super cross which 10 damage to each of your opponent's poke Pokemon uh, so that counts for all the bench Pokemon as well um, Luckily for us, the Snorlax has um, damage reduction. I'm not sure if uh, the interaction will go through, but um, yeah, let's just try that. I think it should be able to uh, tank that up, but um, yeah, we shall see. Again, I'm a new player, so we'll just have to see this. Um, I, I'm so I'm gonna pivot away from um, Persian and onto Snorlax right now. Um, just because I know that I can get two more energy cards. So 2 plus 2, I have 4 energy cards. That gets me a guaranteed 
uh, four energy cards onto Snorlax over here. So this guy is going to be much, much stronger than Persian. Of course, Persian is very useful, um, but I'm, I'm just going to pivot away uh, and our winning strategy, I'm going to bank on um, this guy. So I'm not going to evolve Persian right now because as you can see, um, this raid attack over here, if this Pokemon evolved from Meowth during this turn, this attack does 30 more damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bait it out. Um, when I need it, I'm going to put Meow for it, and then I'm going to evolve and hit for 60 damage. Uh, so there's nothing left to do right now except go ahead and bite this guy. And we're just really waiting. Uh, I feel pretty confident right now just because we've um, uh, gotten Snorlax. Uh, and yes, uh, indeed, we have uh, the damage reduction on Snorlax. Uh, so. We're going to continue loading him up with uh, energy cards and same thing, we're going to bite. It takes two more turns, um, but he can kill me in only three more turns, so I'm just going to have the advantage. For, uh, but the main worry is to these two Pokemon right here, uh, because they can only tank for three more turns, so uh, that's pretty worrying. So this is a very useful card, uh, but I am not going to use it right now. Uh, again, just because... Uh, hmm... Am I? You know what, I've changed my mind. Uh, I am going to play it right now. And the reason for that is... Ooh, we are lucky right there. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and pick Arcanine. Uh, and the reason for that is I know Arcanine has a 30 damage... <laughs> 30 damage uh, attack, so... I can put this here, uh, and I can kill him in this turn. Um, so for this energy, I can put it over here on Arcanine, or I can put it on Snorlax. Uh, for the moment, I'm going to put on Arcanine, because he's our main uh, damage dealer at the moment. And also because he has uh, 60 HP left to tank. Um, this one, this is the only one I'm worried about, um, so let's hope that they are not so lucky. So yeah, uh, you can see the AI did not uh, take his chances over there with the Golette. Uh, again, the AI is pretty... Um, not very clever, so... Uh, nice! Oh, we've got a nice prize, Rapidash, but Rapidash... Uh, we don't have Ponyta. Uh, you can see it evolves from Ponyta over here. Um, so we're not going to be able to use that right now. Uh, ah, he has finally come up with the Golette, but now you can see that he has no more energy cards left, so the only attack he has left is Pound, and uh, I can um, still soak up more damage. So I'm going to go ahead and get more energy cards, I'm running low. Uh, for this, for this um, card, he was pretty useful uh, earlier in the game uh, because we didn't have anything left and we could draw seven new cards, right? Uh, but right now we have so many cards on our deck, uh, it's not very uh, wise to go discard all of them. Uh, so just rem as a reminder, this card goes into your discard pile. Uh, you cannot pick them up again unless you have any special abilities. So that's not something we want to do. That's wonderful for us. Um, again, we have the tempo advantage. Um, ooh. Okay, so he's, he is able to um, knock me out now. Um, so he's starting to catch up a little bit, but uh, don't forget that we had on our bench uh, our win condition Snorlax. Um, and he comes to save us once again. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to load him up on his last fire energy card and oh that's pretty sad but um it doesn't really matter each way because um even if we dealt 30 more damage uh, 50 plus 30 is 80 we were not going to be able to knock him out in one hit anyways so oh thankful for that damage reduction um hmm. there is nothing we can play still so uh, there's no no one I'm gonna have to load up my energies on. Um, 
you know what, perhaps it might be useful as just as a backup. Uh, nah. We'll just go ahead and knock him out. Yeah, I'm already very close to winning. Um, there's not much you can do here. Okay, we've seen we've seen this cut before, and here we see it again. Uh, what it allows us to do is to draw more cards. So let's just go ahead and put that into play. Uh, and for if you want to see it, uh, we may discard an energy card uh, in order to draw two more cards from the deck. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And because we do have extra energy, we can go ahead and discard. Um, so we have received Flareon um, and another Eevee over here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is to put my um, backup energies onto this EV. Um, I, I just prefer this guy because he has no damage taken yet, so he's gonna be much more stronger. Um, so again, Heat Breath requires three energy cards, so one, two, three, uh, and that's quite enough. So right now I'm hoping for heads, oh that's wonderful, uh, knock him out and yeah that's it. Uh, and so again just to recap, uh, during my turns you can see that um, I always try to have my backup condition uh, thought out and prepped ready to enter the battle at any time. Of course, it's not always possible to do so, but um, as much as possible, whenever you can, uh, we always just want to have our backup uh, ready. Uh, and that's just to make sure that you don't lose any tempo advantage. Uh, tempo meaning, you know, if you can attack, uh, you want to keep on attacking and stuff like that. Uh, 